Hello everybody, so to further pour lemon juice on the wounds of those who are saying that we are currently at the beginning of some sort of economic boom, I have some very funny yet telling reasons why this is simply not true, and why we are rather heading further down the rabbit hole of increased government benefits leading to more debt, and eventually this leads to a complete bursting of the enormous asset and debt bubbles we have going on. But just to illustrate this, I have two very odd articles to show you. But first, if you want an alternative view on the markets based off of facts and fundamentals, and not off of feelings or wishful thinking, just consider subscribing to this channel. And now I will get on with <laughs> this uh, video. So to get started, it turns out that you, that if you give people who are unemployed more money for not working than they were previously earning, working their full-time job, by and large they won't return to work. And yes, I know. There is no way anybody could have predicted this beforehand, but this complicated question has now been answered for us uh, by our extremely intelligent government. And in case you were wondering, yes, I am being sarcastic, because what kind of insane world is it that you extend unemployment benefits indefinitely? You just keep rolling the programs on, adding more and more debt to the system, and expect it to change anything. You no, know, just put yourself in the shoes of these employees. You know, if you were earning $30,000 per year working for McDonald's, uh, which is probably close to what the median pay was, or maybe even a little higher, and then somebody comes along and offers you uh, to pay you over $1,000 per week to not work at all, are you going to return to work? You know, No, you're going to stay at home as long as possible. You're going to watch Netflix, and maybe you're even going to go out shopping and spending with this increased income that you are now receiving for not working at all. And I don't even feel like this is even an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, because even if the unemployment benefits were, say, $500 per week, and you were getting slightly less than from your job, uh, you know, isn't that still a deal most people would take, you know, just to not work at all and still earn, you know, 70% or 80% of what they were earning before? I think most people would probably stay with that. So... Anyway, to illustrate this, I found two articles which go into this, and one of them actually takes the side of these employees who are refusing to return to work, so that just shows you kind of how insane the whole picture has become. Okay, so this t takes the side of an uh, employer who is just having a very difficult time finding employees to return to work uh, in California. As restaurants are having to deal with lost profits and adjusted practices, they're now facing a new problem. Many employees make more from unemployment than they do at their actual jobs. There are some hiccups with choosing not to return to work, though. Making that choice may cost you both your job and your unemployment access. Jeff Rowland owns Denny's franchises in Clovis, Vasilia, and Hanford. He's, he says he's already poured a quarter million dollars into keeping his restaurants alive for the past couple of months. Depending on the location, I'm going to say we're down an average of 70% in sales. Roland says he's been adjusting his business model and doing everything he can to stay afloat. We're doing catering now. I'm doing meals on wheels at one of my stores. He's even selling grocery items at his Denny's locations now, where people can order their groceries ahead and pick it up at the restaurant. This past Sunday, he was finally able to open his doors to dine-in customers, but the safety precautions he's having to take are costly. Denny's has a 121-page long playbook on how to keep all their customers safe. That includes paper menus and the option to have plastic silverware that they'll throw out in between each use. They also wipe down the tables for each customer and every other table is blocked off. If you have to wait for a table since the restaurants can only operate at 50% capacity right now, because you have to do that in your car, then uh, they'll text you when your table is ready. If we're waiting to come up to the counter, everyone has to stand a six feet apart. Rather than having condiments on the table, everything is prepackaged. These containers cost money. They take out containers. Uh, cost of labor to fill everything and delivery changes uh, cost money too. There is no profit margin right now. Um, so that doesn't really sound like a coming economic boom to me. I don't know about you. A Denny's employees and a lot of the rest of us in the middle class would make more on unemployment right now than they would at work. In California, the EDD can give out $450 a week for unemployment, plus the $600 in federal money from the CARES Act through July 31st. Roland says that the majority of his employees would rather get paid the $1050 a week to stay home. You know, who wouldn't, by the way? 
Uh, many of them are coming up with very creative excuses to not come back to work. We've done uh, what we've done is we've let them know that if you do not come back to work and we have your job ready for you, then we go back to the unemployment department and we let them know, and then they deal with it based on the regulations. Federal regulations say if you have a suitable job offer and turn it down, you'll lose your unemployment. But in California, you can cite safety concerns, of course, as a reason you don't want to return to your job. Uh, and of course, that's uh, very uh, typical of California to kind of go around these. And um, I don't know, it's just the whole situation is so messy. But I mean, just put yourself in the shoes of this employer. He's He's been trying to keep his businesses open. He's already put a quarter of a million dollars into keeping them open. And, you know, probably largely due to the fact that he doesn't want to uh, put so many people out of work permanently. I'm sure it's not entirely just because <clears throat> he wants to keep them going just for himself. He's probably had uh, these employees of his in mind, and now they're just not even wanting to come back. So what kind of a messed up system is that where uh, essentially the government's almost giving the incentive for uh, businesses just to go bust because, um, yeah, they're they're essentially incentivizing employees not even to return to work at which point you know the whole business system would just collapse but now let's go on to the second article place in florida also very recently um just goes into even more insanity just on how uh you know the florida uh mcdonald's chain is actually offering fifty dollars up front for a job interview so not even uh to guarantee that you will work for them but just to go into an interview with them uh, a McDonald's fast food restaurant in Tampa res res resorted to offering people $50 just to come in to interview for a job. Many people responding to the story see it as a confirmation that lazy people would rather collect pandemic-inflated unemployment benefits than go to work. Uh, yeah, that is kind of what I'm saying. Uh, cut their free money and they'll go back to work, was how an online commentator put it. That seems to be the consensus of Florida's lawmakers, too. Last week, Florida House Republicans rejected a Democratic effort to increase the maximum unemployment benefit from 275 to 375 per week. We gave a big tax break to businesses, says this uh, representative, said in arguing uh, for benefit increase. Yeah, the least we can do is make sure workers get a fair share, an opportunity to have benefits they can actually survive on, and benefits that will make us reflect more of the national average. So, I don't know if it's, uh, if you'd call this survivable, but the fact that they're not even re wanting to return to work seems to kind of punch holes in that argument, and they didn't even really answer the question of, <clears throat> you know, how does this incentivize employees to return to work? But anyway, um, yeah, she was referencing a bill quietly signed into law by Governor Ron DeSantis this week. It will cost Floridian, Floridians an estimated $1 billion a year more in online sales taxes to replenish the state's unemployment trust fund and reduce the commercial rent tax for Florida businesses. Anyway, so, um, yeah, these, uh, these two articles hopefully begin to show you just kind of the insanity going on right now within the real economy, not the asset and debt economy that are in complete bubbles right now. Um, and yeah, it just hopefully begins to show you how this cannot go on forever and how it's probably coming uh, fairly close to uh, an end fairly soon. But um, yeah, if you like these kinds of uh, videos, just consider subscribing and I hope to see you again.